Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from today's LPL 2024 Spring Split matchup. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Uh, top lane being finicky about invades and pr early pressure. Hacker's looking for the gank though. He actually has an angle here. Yeah. The Sentinel is not going to see him. They're going for it. They get it. There's the flash. There's the shattering strike. Vampire's going to flash himself, but Doggo is the lethal, but it's actually Tway who gets the kill in the end. So, a little bit of Ultra Prime sauce early on. Really nice for Ultra Prime under its sky, but it leaves room for Ultra Prime to try to contest. Like you said, though, with Doggo not having mana, yeah, it didn't seem like it was in the cards, though. Hacker! Oh, Hacker. Oh, Hacker. That's real rough. He's only level 4, too, over 0909. They are not able to get him down at the end. Three Talent Strike gets him anyways. The big dragon unable to save his teammate. And another kill goes over. This time finally traded. I think Ultra Prime are thinking about making a play because they had Decade coming as well. They still want to go for it. Oh my god. Flash Magic Storm. There's the Falling Star too. The breath is too hot and Monkey gets cooked alive by Yuakai. Nice timing on the summoners. Ultra Prime, I think, very clearly knew he didn't have his flash up still, which is why Hacker was willing to go in on that so aggressively. And it's going to leave Ultra Prime open. We do see first items up. Uh, static Shift for Doggo for that early presence uh, to push back the lane a little bit. Yuakai also completed the Rally's first item. Pretty huge. Four members of EDG down here. Doggo could have dashed his way at Hostile Takeover. Monkey is going ham. He's going a little too ham. He just get cooked up by Yuakai again. That dragon's eating good. Yeah, that one. That one was questionable. I respect. I can get started up. Ultra Prime in a position to contest here. They don't have presence from mid lane. Let's see if they actually want to. Ooh, Decade getting a nice little trade on Dala. He actually has a level advantage too. Meanwhile, Hacker goes in but can't get the trade. He goes in with a bag of storm. Falling skies. Oh my god. Ultra Prime have dusted EDG. Two kills go over to Doggo. And 0909 can't stand the heat. Get out of the kitchen. Really nice setup. And it's coming from half. I need EDG to step up if I'm going to get any comfort from this. Just a little bit. Like a pentacle. Yeah. I think you're going to have to contact whoever you got your emotional support animal from. Uh, <laughs> he's not having he's a good not. time down here, my friend. He needs, uh, he needs you, an emotional support animal. Yeah, something like that as uh, the falling star does come through. Vampire, is he about to get some kills and get back in this game, but... The angle wasn't there. The members of Ultra Prime were too far, and it just ends up wasting Bro, a TP. Decade, decade just walks straight into the Maw of Death, and he stands strong in its face. As the Ultra Mega Fire Kick not able to disconnect EDG from themselves. Austin, I'll take over right back. Doggo obliterated by Monkey here. He does end up going down. 600 smackaroos go over, but look at Yuakai. He is burning them so that he can chop down and eat them. All in Monkey, the only saving grace is for EDG, but not for long. A triple kill for the massive dragon of Ultra Prime. Let's see if get a quadra here. All is going to get one back as we know he would. And now he's got a little bit of a fight back on its way. He is the Cassante, and Yuakai doesn't have any means of getting to him. And that's it. <laughs> yeah, once the ghost is popped, I'm glad that all of that movement's coming out right now for Ultra Prime. Push in mid, look for the pick in the enemy jungle. You had the wave started top. Oh, they are getting a little bit big for their britches, but Hacker gets a nice redemption there. So I think Joy actually had a big play. Now Tekken, Tekken sees the predatory instincts are coming alive here. Now Yuakai, he finds the angle. He doesn't have much damage to follow it up, but Decade wants it. He's in there, but he's going to oh. go down immediately to the snake as he pulls the Ren stacks out of the crop. This must be the end. Yuakai is holding on with the ulti right now, the big one, because he wants to bring the doom of EDG. Decade having popped his Dominus. Monkey going in with the Crescent Guard. Yuakai breathing on the backs of EDG, but Decade wants to go for it a little bit more. He's got those rage stacks now. One turret left. Can Ultra Prime put the finishing touches here? They are feeling a little bit wary, and the handshake comes through on its way. Vampire with a flash hostile takeover, but now as the skies descend on EDG's game one, Ultra Prime reigns supreme. It's like the dawning of the end of the dinosaurs as Ultra Prime will win game one holistically. Yeah. 
completely outclassed in one, so I yeah. like them coming out together in this one. Monkey, though, is going to go towards the Viego, so you have a lot of bursts to potentially set up for the resets. Something much different from that game number one. So Hacker did get one of them. And while bot side, we get a ghost pop by Doggo. He's going to dodge out a vampire. He doesn't have a way out. The handshake comes through. He wants vampire. He's going to get him. The rain is there. And Doggo, he's going to get first blood. What they found in the earlier... My God, Ultra Prime just not going to be able to contest <laughs> any objective or anything going on. Oh, EDG might have found a play on mid lane though. Nice flash, but it was enough. Dway, he's not going to get bailed out this time around. 0909 is getting low. Monkey as well, but it's going to be the kill of the EDG. They are on the board. Make sure he takes that one out. There's still a potential play here. They saw him go here, I believe. Yeah, they he's know. He's just been waiting. Do they know? They know. The kickback. Oh, big Mega Inferno bomb, and they actually might find the resets here. Ultra Prime get dusted in bot side, and Hacker... He's trying to run away. I wonder if Monkey has the speed here because Yuakai cannot come help. He's going to be a little late. Hacker trying to get to him. Goes over. He's able to get away because of the red buff. It manages to escape, but still, EDG come out ahead. They're the ones that find the fight. That I, I, I favor the side of EDG. We do see that 0909 oh, already. Oh, Yuakai. He's going to flash. He does get the stun, but is it enough? Spirit Rush available. Heartbreaker on top of it. They even threw the Mega Inferno Bomb there, too. Hacker now getting Ooh. heartbroken over the wall. Ultra Prime are falling apart here. That's the hostile takeover. They might have been able to find one back. Oh my god, Hacker's still alive! What is going on? Holy cow, Doggo comes clutch, and now they can contest the dragon here. He has the ghost pop, and they will push EDG to the brink. Okay, they're still gonna look to contest the Drake though, because Hacker's coming back in. Doesn't have no smite. Way. All right, nothing else going to be utilized. The TP there. They don't have the ultra, but they have the prime. As EDG take one, take two, and they'll look at the dragon as well. Ultra prime overstayed, and EDG punish in full. The famous ultra prime overheat. They should have known ultra prime for is uh, not wanting to give up when maybe they should. Oh, vampire going to have to give his life up there as he goes down in transition. Rift Herald secured by Ultra Prime. One mistake. Side lanes also, they're playing into a Ziggs. So breaking down mid turret's going to be so incredibly hard. Wait, wait, Hacker. Oh my god. They're going to turn the play right back on EDG. Ultra Prime, you dirty dogs. They end up going. And they kind of actually end up going for the, the, the play they originally wanted to go for, right? In Ultra Prime's mind, it was like, hey, EDG are going to take Dragon. We're going to Herald and we're going to try and dive top. EDG matched the play, which prevented that, that you know, uh, potential dive or potential gank from happening. But I love it. Yeah, they're doing a great job of it so far as they get the flash out from Dway. And, right, that's where their comp functions beautifully. The Diego Rakan, Monkey. Hacker is play with fire here. Mega Inferno Bomb coming across. 0909, he's in there. And here comes the Heartbreaker, Doggo. He's not going to get bailed out this time. It's EDG running away with it. That's going to be three kills, and it's 0909 showing up finally. As another one goes, EDG, they want to push us to three. Yeah, I think Monkey really having. And, you know, one thing about when we have matchups like this, right, is it feels like when either team gets a lead that they're going to know how to close out, and, and Ultra Prime and EDG probably don't have the greatest idea of how to play from behind is Allah. Might go down. They might have a decent idea about a play from behind. Uh, but they do end up losing in, in, in mid for this. Uh, just big. Oh, the all out play actually there. But Vampire is here and Decade is all by his lonesome. He's going to try to dash his way out of that one, but can't triple knock up his way into a life. Now for EDG having a wave and bot, they could just rotate, get this tower going. <laughs> Vampire. <laughs> well. He wanted to set up for the team. He did it. You know, he <laughs> he distracted out the Doran's Blade Orn. We got I don't know if I'd be cooking that much, but, you know, maybe a little bit more cooking than what we got. Handshake coming through. Can't even hit the point blank charm. Oh, no, 909. Now, maybe this is the chance Deku can oh, no. actually do something on the Cassante. You asked, is there a chance, Lyric? 
Well, there's always a chance as Ultra Prime they're running down the top dog in this game of EDG and they actually get a little bit back. Three kills go their way and Hacker's looking for more. They have the angle. Hacker, the sneaking predator in the bushes as Decade running him down and here he comes. He kicks back. Vampire gonna go down here. No. Oh, Allah's pretty big. Allah's pretty big. He's a big croc. He's got slice and dice. He's trying to get him down too. Oh, Sonic Wave doesn't hit from Ultra Prime, but they're moving forward here, Lyric. No Wait, Allah, no Wait, Allah just Allah. slice and dice is right back in. Allah! He gets the kill. Oh, oh my god. He gets a double. That's a two against the four five and he finds more he finally goes down that'll be one given back oh nine oh nine is chasing Look and this fight is map. absolute insanity they're super minions killing ultra prime's base ultra prime don't care they want bloodshed here comes monkey to get the resets and uh he might not be able to take down decade oh nine oh nine will you know or will he <laughs> Oh. What is happening in this game right now? They are losing that turret, but the minions finally come out. Decade's still alive. He manages to escape. I, I who came out ahead in this play? Who got more? I don't no really think there's any room to go for this, especially with Decade not being here. You look, there's still supers pushing the base of Ultra Prime. And if Ultra Prime lose this, then they lose the game, it feels like. And Vampire wants to make that known. Hostile Takeover comes back. Tway's already gone. They actually find Ooh. one. So they get hey, Monkey. The resets are no longer there. And Decade is a tanky boy now. He is finally making the Cassante felt in this series. And that was such an important kill. Because if you kill Vampire... On Ultra Prime gonna go off the Baron play here. Mega Inferno Bomb utilized, and here comes the TPs. Ultra Prime, you're going for gold here. They're gonna get the Baron. They get the bounty as well. They gotta try to fight out of it though, and now they won't. They already lost Doggo. Decade just gonna dash his way over. Hacker able to get out. They can get out with more buffs though. That's huge. They will lose two of them though, and EDG are now looking to press into the base and get potentially this dragon. They're looking for it. They want to bring us to three. And of course, the chaos had to ensue in this series in the battle for the wooden spoon. As EDG take down the mid in him, once again, they will look at the final Nexus turrets here. One already very worse for wear at the Dominus gets popped by Allah. Here they go. They get the grand entrance missing by Vampire, but does it matter? It looks like it doesn't. They've already got the crypt bloom stacks going. And now as well, you and Kai, the only saving grace under the turret. The turret falls. Allah's looking for it. He actually hits the Nexus. They're going for it. We're going the distance. EDG, wait, no. He can't get it. Okay. <laughs> it's over. Finally, the chaos is done. Thank goodness. Because that was a hell of a game number two. If that game didn't end there, I was going to be so upset because, my God, EDG would have been so trolled by that inhibitor responding. Like, they on the back line. At the same time, though, the front to back from EDG is quite hard to bypass. You have Karma speeding everyone up with the shields. You have the ultimate that's going to be able to come out from Vampire. Allah, who's going to be able to see EDG, should be able to steal this red. Okay, well, uh, apparently Ultra Prime, they were loving what you were saying in, in the whole let's just fight. Oh my god, Monkey is getting chunked here. Yuakai coming around the corner. Ultra Prime want this. Oh, he can't get the combination on the right direction. And EDG, they'll move back in to try to get the red buff. I mean, now that they're grouped up and, and know that most of Ultra Prime are in front of them, it shouldn't be that annoying. But yeah, look I, at what Yuka, Yuka is doing. Yuka has another oh. one. Oh, Hacker. Hacker's just dead. First blood to EDG. Yeah, I believe it was the handshake coming out from Vampire pulling you. They'll save him, save him a summoner as Monkey. Oh, my God. Yuka does so much. Oh, no. <laughs> dead? Oh, Monkey. That's going to be a flash. You want back 10 out of 10 times. They do get one Ooh. back, though. They get a kill. Vampire almost going down. Way is gonna flash away though. As he makes it back. 0909 definitely overextended. He's gonna flash himself. Doggo's gonna follow him right back and he's gonna pull that right out of his Wait. heart. Now Snake is going in. What is going on? Snake Wait. is putting him down. That snake's got venom and you ain't got nothing to deal with it. This fight is not stopping and we absolutely love that. I think the regret's gonna be coming out for Joy. I just died to like one auto. 
Uh, could have been a massive play though, had he been able to get that off. More action, top side. Yo, Ala is getting a huge series of combos here against Decade. Hits the Q3, doubts it for a second, and back. Got a decent amount of damage on it as well. Oh, that's a deep flank, and that is Decade coming in. He will have Dominus. Got to get Ala here too. He's going to TT, but they've already pulled the trigger. Pop Blossom on a two. They found the snake. Is he going to get bailed out? No. And now the spiraling despair has come for EDG as Ultra Broad caused them to completely go kaput. Dragon goes over two, and that's two in a row. And Ultra Prime, they make the move. Doggo's ultra throw in right? We're going oh. live though, baby. We got a double pop blossom to boot and ultra prime. They're just jumping as Doggo does from kill to kill and from strength to strength. Monkey will just fall to the minions and Hacker gets the kill. Ultra Prime, forget what I said earlier. He's found the play himself. Already start up the dragon here. TP coming in from 0909. Dragon going very low. You gotta try to get Monkey here, but he's not even in the pit yet. He's trying to get there, but he can't. That's already the third dragon. And Pop Blossom! Oh my god, again! Ultra Prime do the business. They do get one soloed out there because Hacker got all outed by Ala. Now Ala with the ghost. He can look for an angle, but a nice fear from Yuakai. Decade. You're looking a little bit worse for wear. The speed up from Yuakai. You see what? The fight. Decent amount of damage being done by Yuakai. This is soul for Ultra Prime. They need to get this secure to get out. Pop Blossom on to three. And Ultra Prime, they're looking for it. Monkey is fighting back though. And Ultra Prime, they get the Infernal Soul, but they might just lose their lives for it. Huey is doing work, but they can't get much more. They just get the one kill back. They get the dragon, but EDG get kills. Yeah, EDG, they take the fight. It's because Ultra Prime were so split, right? Some people finishing dragon, some people looking for the engage like Dway, but this is going to turn into a Baron. I don't think Yuakai and Doggo have any right to decades. Try to contest this, but it looks like they might. There's no ways. The health bars. AOE. The health bars, they're not so healthy. Decades coming over I think here. They could do this. Yuakai, Yuakai, he's here. They do get the Baron, but can they kill some of the Baron buffs? Decade might have just sacrificed his life there. He does dodge out of the Piercing Arrow. Doggo's hopping forward. Yuakai's got some distance. Chains of Corruption going to be flashed out of, but he couldn't get the distance on the other execution, and uh, that lead game. Yeah, they're going to be able to keep going. Yuakai not really going to be able to do much to sway this. And maybe much like an inhibitor. They overextend though. Monkey is very low now. The sustain might not be there. Oh, Decade, Decade, you gotta get out of there. He's trying to heal, but he gets pulled back to the brink and Allah takes him out. Now, you got a little move in the uh, you got 35 seconds on the Baron buff for EDG, but they will move away after getting the inhib. It just the bottom side and we'll be able to contest from this angle. EDG, I love they're threatening the, the, the push mid. They already have supers and bots, so they can just stall time and try and get the most value out of their minions as they can. 0909 stepping up with the mantra Q. Yuakai takes a huge amount of damage. Now Ulla is moving forward. Elder Dragon might be the focus for EDG, but it looks like the fight engaged. Spiraling Despair, Pop Blossom, everything going the way of Ultra oh, Prime, Alice. but they have to stay alive because Ulla is their Elder Dragon. We'll do it. The flaps are coming, and EDG, they are panicking. They are running, but the fire hits them all the same. Ultra Prime end up coming out huge with the fact that they get the dragon, but their base is still in tatters. So they actually don't get to turn this huge win. But Ultra Prime are going for the push. He was looking for it. Now Ultra Prime on to an inhib in mid lane. They still have almost two minutes on the Baron buff. They will take down this inhib easily. They don't have any other waves really in his position except for bot lane getting that way. Looks like they will just take what they can get and back away. Elder is already going down very heftily. Ultra Prime, they need a big engage. They need a big moment. The Tangle Barb is not going to hit. The Hostile Takeover does. Chains of Corruption on to Toe. Oh. Totally, completely missing the Pop Blossom. Multiple flashes utilized. Ultra Prime, they're starting to lose a lot of the tools. Yuakai is all by himself in the back. Doggo's starting to kite. You got to watch out. The All Out coming through from Ala. Yuakai's trying to take down the Elder. Elder secured by EDG. They have the fight, and they'll take it to Ultra Prime. 
Everyone's gone but you and Kai, and the TP to mid lane signal the end. And now this should be the win for EDG. Yuika is going to be kicking himself. He had to be there and he was not. His team didn't have time to not fight without him. And in a season that we've seen Yuika have some of the brightest moments for Ultra Prime, they are also shadowed by incredibly disastrous ones. EDG, though, they rise from the bottom. They will claim victory. And 0909's first series here in this split will end up in a 2 1 victory. Ice for EDG again. Both these teams were out of playoffs, so this is just was for pride. This is just to make sure that. These were some of the best highlights from today's LPL 2024 Spring Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.